All right, so there's some new functionality where we can have our Power Apps applications as Teams meeting apps that I wanted to walk through. First, I wanted to kind of briefly set, set the stage here on what we can do right now today already um, before all of this with integrating our Power Apps and Teams. So we have this nifty Add to Teams button in our Canvas apps, and we can click that. That will actually go and open up Teams for us, and we can easily add a Power App Canvas app this way into Teams as a tab. So you see we kind of have two options for Add to a Team or even Add to a Chat. So we can search for the team we want to add it to, um, find the channel there, and that will actually go to set up the tab. So it's really simple integration out of the box that we have now. And uh, of course, in addition to this whole functionality of being able to add it as a tab, which we've had for quite a while now, we also have the ability that we've had for a while as well to be able to take these Power Apps that we build and add them as uh, tenant-wide applications in the app catalog here in the App Store and Teams. So you see a conference schedule app that I have there that I've deployed this way and it shows in the left rail. This is just a Power Apps Canvas app that I've been able to surface up here in Teams. So we've had this type of integrative capability capability for a while, in addition to Dataverse for Teams, which is the even more tightly integrated uh, Power Apps within Teams with the fluent UI feel and all of that. But what's new is meeting tabs is one way. So this has been here for a couple of months now. So we've been able to add tabs into our meetings here in addition to the chat, the details and the files. And we can actually embed in the meeting tab a Power App here. So this is good if you want to do some collaboration in a Power App that you built before a meeting. Uh, but the thing that I want to show today is what if we want to do some work in collaboration with an app during a meeting? So that's possible with some functionality called main stage. This allows our app content from a meeting side panel, which we're seeing here. We're actually able to sideload in on the side panel a Power App here, and then we can take that, we can basically present that to the screen, kind of like we do a PowerPoint presentation now, and attendees now can then see that and interact with that application real time in the meeting. So this is pretty cool functionality. I want to show a simple use case of how we could get this set up. Uh, first thing I want to share about this main stage, though, is this is right now still the de in developer preview. So you will need to go into your team's client settings and enable that developer preview if you want to try this out today for this to show up. Um, so let's take a look first at uh, a power up that I have. So my use case here is this timesheet application. Maybe we have weekly status meetings where we go through and look at everyone's time and group meetings. Wouldn't it be cool if we could just collaborate in that app? So if I click at that timesheet app, I click those three dots again, and we do add the teams. Um, what we're going to do there um, in the add to teams there, instead of choosing the button that we looked at earlier, where we selected add to teams, we're going to go and choose this different option uh, here where it says download app. And uh, some things I wanted to point out quickly, you'll notice too in the advanced settings when we do the add to teams, if you are wanting to deploy this into Teams, uh, we can put in some additional information just like we can in our normal Teams app, like the developer um, and their your website, terms of use, privacy policy there, and even your partner ID. So if you're wanting to put this in the app store there, you can associate that with your partner ID. So make sure that you fill some of that information in there if you'd like when you're adding this to Teams. Uh, but we want to choose the option below for download the app instead of add to Teams because this functionality is new and it's not baked into the native add to Teams functionality yet. So we need to make a few tweaks here to the manifest file to be able to add this application in as a main stage type application. So I just extracted this. We're going to open it up with Visual Studio Code. Right, and I'm going to use my favorite extension here to beautify the JSON since it's all in one line um, so that I can see it a little bit better. Now, what we want to do here that we just need to make a very small change to this manifest file, which is a big JSON file. And we're going to go here to the configurable tabs section. And below, we'll see a, the scopes and then we'll see context. So you want to make sure in the scope, first of all, that we have team and group chat. And in the context right now, you see that what this means is where can we use this Power App? Well, we can use it in the meeting details tab, in the meeting chat tab, private chat and channel. But if we want to use it um, in the other scope there, then we need to, whoops, sorry, just a second. My slides went crazy. <laughs> 
one minute here. Um, but if we want to do that, we need to, let me just switch over here actually. This will be easier because I have this open. Um, we need to add these two options here. We need to add meeting side panel. That's what allows us to load the Power Apps application into the side panel there. And then once we have that, we need to add meeting stage option to the context here. Once we have that all set, then we're good to go and we're going to be able to actually take this Power App and load it into the meeting. So you'll just give this a save and you'll zip your files back up um, that and all the files are right here. If we take a look at they're just a manifest file and then images for the color and the outline. So we're just going to take those, zip those back up into a new package so that we can go and add this into Teams now. So in Teams, all we would need to do is go into our apps tab here in the left rail and then we can go to upload a custom app. We have a few different options. Um, do you upload for my org if you're wanting everyone to be able to utilize this in their meetings? Uh, point that to your zip file that you have, click open, and that will go install it. Now, I've already had this installed and it's all ready to go. So if we want to use this now in a meeting, all we have to do is we'll go back here. So that's how I have it added. We're going to actually just go create a new meeting from scratch to, to start this out with. So I'm going to create a timesheet review meeting. I'm going to add in some attendees. I'm going to make David be part of this meeting. We're going to create it and I'm going to open up the meeting. Um, first thing I wanted to show is that meeting tab experience first before I show the new functionality. So those are the tabs we have across. If we wanted to have it as a meeting tab, all we have to do is click the plus button and I can find my weekly timesheet and we can click on that and we can have it in a meeting tab so that we can use that and put in our time maybe before our meeting. So that is that functionality that's there. We don't have to do anything special to get this functionality working right now. We didn't even have to modify the manifest to get this. But what if we want to take it a step further so they're interacting with the app here and be able to use that in the actual meeting itself? Well, what we can do is if we click out of this application in the tab, we can go back here and then we can go into the meeting. Um, so I'm going to join the meeting like I'm just going to join it usually. And I'm going to wait for a few minutes here for, for David to, to get on to just so we can see what the experience looks like um, as me being the host of the meeting and the one sharing the app and as David being an attendee of the meeting. So um, David should join here in a second. There he is. So I want to add this as a meeting panel application. So I'm going to click the three dots and we have that add an app option you see. So again, if you have the dev preview, this will show up. And then I can click on my weekly timesheet application that should show here since I just added it. And all I have to do is click save and this is going to load that into the side panel. Now, you'll see right now this is a little um, not super intuitive to use because the side panel here for meetings is optimized for, I think, about 365 pixels wide type applications. And this is a, a desktop optimized app. So if you had a power app that was optimized for mobile, this would look really nice in the panel. But this is why I want that share to main stage functionality to really be able to use this. So, um, so while I can interact with it, it's not very usable. So how do I share it to the main stage? Well, at the top, right up there, you'll see that little share tray. So we have um, the settings there, we can click that, and that will broadcast this application as soon as I click it into the main stage. And now we can start interacting with the Power App live in our Teams meeting. So this is what it looks like for me moving around. And David's able to see me moving around in the application and using it there. Now, what is it going to look like for David, though? So I can see my timesheet, so I can go through the approval process, see what everyone submitted there. Now we'll switch over to David's profile as he's in the meeting. And I wanted to point this out for a reason, because if you're wanting to, to use this functionality, you'll notice that David's getting this big, this app isn't opening correctly error. So that, that's no good, right? Why is this? Well, if we want to share the power apps that we build this way, we have to make sure that we are sharing those out first with anyone that would be one of using it in the meeting. So I didn't do that for this application yet. So the attendees are getting an error. So how do we share this out? Well, before we want to sideload this in into our Teams meeting, I want to go back into Power Apps and click the Share tab for the application that I want to broadcast. And I'm going to go add David. And you see when I did that, David got that message to log in with his credentials, and now he's able to use the app. And we see it's him because there's his picture, and then there's his name and the welcome. So now he can interact with the app on his own. There's no timesheets in there because he doesn't have any, and you can see approvals and all of that. So it's a, it's a 
fully fledged functioning experience here for everyone to be able to collaborate in an application inside of a Teams meeting with Power Apps. So it's, I'm pretty excited about this functionality. It's pretty simple to get set up and start using, and it's really great for those collaborative meeting experiences and being able to use some of the Power Apps that you have. Cool. Man, yeah, and that, that's all that, that I had to show there. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's any questions in the chat or anything about this. Wonderful. That was a very cool demo. Thanks. Some new yeah. functionality there. Thank you.